hello everyone welcome back this is Naveen from UI Brains so in this video let's start with the put and delete request of uh, using the fetch API the custom API okay so we made this function now here for put um, what we do okay does this make a URL directly but what is the object you're gonna update uh, one second huh? what is the object you're gonna update is one second, I huh? get uh, John. So John ID is required. So let's employee ID. So what was the ID you're gonna update is? Let's make it a hard code here. Copy this, paste it. Okay, and let's make a URL is equal to. Uh, we need to provide the ID. So uh, server URL slash uh, employees slash uh, ID so ID is employee ID so this makes a URL in this way okay but you don't need to provide a, a colon okay so this is actually for server side uh, node just thing so slash my employee ID and next make uh, uh, object employee so update uh, employee is equal to let's make uh, an object so here uh, I need a let's do one thing let's me copy this first name and last name paste it here so first name it was John let's make it John Monte and this is Wilson as it is but I want to modify the email as John underscore Wilson because I want it the Gmail to be John underscore Wilson and gender mail only but uh, IP address I want to modify 255.255.255 okay I want this one only email and IP address I'm gonna change fine and how to call it is brain HTTP dot post you need to provide the URL and also the updated employee okay so it returns again a promise if you see a uh, put it returns a promise oh it's not post man it's put Okay, it is a promise. So dot then dot catch. So here, let's make a function, and here also we'll make a function. Okay, so here you actually get data, and let's make a console log of the data. Console dot log of data, and then um, I need to fetch back because I want to see the results. On the page so fetch employees again and for error let's make simply console dot error of error that's it so this is about a put request so let's see that now go back here get and for put what happens this email and IP address is gonna change let me click on this put so what happens see uh, I think John Wilson uh, why yeah, I made it John Wilson. Okay, fine. It's okay. And this IP address. So put also working perfect. Now what's the next thing is delete. So let's make a delete request. So let's make a delete. We have an ID. It's delete button. App.js. So let's make delete button. Okay. So let's delete button is equal to so document dot query selector of hash delete button and uh, so delete button dot add event listener of click comma one function okay uh, so what you do is let's make a URL and employee ID so which employee you want to delete I want to delete Laura Wilson so what was the ID this one copy that so let's employee employee ID is gonna be the this thing I want delete and let me configure the URL is same as this one the employee ID has to substitute and then we have uh, ID and URL no data to be sent because delete request doesn't need data only URL so let's call it so brain HTTP because it's static so you need to call uh, using the class name brain http dot delete 
URL. So it's again a promise. It's a promise. So dot then dot catch. Here, here you'll be having a function, and here also you will be having a function. Okay, you will get data, and let me display our console dot log of data, and uh, let me fetch back data again. And for error, uh, let's make a simply console dot error of error. That's it. Is going to be the delete request. Fine. So we made everything, and now let's quickly do a fresh, um, I mean, testing for all. So you want to do fresh testing? I don't need this Rajan again because I want to make it uh, a default data now. Let me restart the server so that you get uh, again two records. Uh, let me restart uh, my Node.js server. Let me stop it. Yeah, npm start. So it starts freshly. So freshly having only two records. Fine. And now check here when I refresh, nothing. See, when I click on get, only two records. When I click on post, it creates a new record called Rajan. See, it's make a request Rajan. So you can also check the server logs, get, post, and again get to retry. Next, put put means what? We are changing the Gmail and IP address. So Gmail and IP address change. Put request received and get request. Next, delete. So what it deletes? The Lara Wilson. Let me check. Yes, Lara Wilson has been deleted. You can check server logs, delete request, and you can also check the browser logs because we made browser logs also. See, you got post request success, put request success, delete success. Okay, so post, put, and delete. this actually responds coming from a server. Your Node.js server is returning some data, so that's is the response. Okay, fine. So we made the complete get post put and delete request using the fetch API. So in the next video, let's make an employee portal application uh, by using the same fetch API. Okay, so that's it. Enough for this video. And thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. And we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.